All right, I have a prepared statement here that I'd like to read, and, and then I have the uh, ability to answer a couple questions. Um, short, shortly before midnight last night, uh, Littleton police officers were dispatched to the area of Powers and Bannock Street in Littleton on a report of shots fired from a vehicle. Uh, the officers had a vague description of a vehicle. They were able to contact the vehicle in that area that matched that description. As they did so and were attempting to contact the parties in the vehicle, two parties fled on foot from that vehicle and the officers gave chase. During the foot pursuit, one of the parties, a male party, entered the apartment complex, apartment building at 183 West Powers Avenue. As he did so, the officer, one of the officers was close behind him. Uh, the suspect turned and fired multiple times from a handgun, uh, striking our officer several times. Um, a second officer was on scene. Both of our officers, the one that was shot and the second officer were able to return fire. At this point, we do not know if the suspect was struck. Um, as the second officer was attempting to rescue the downed officer, the wounded officer, uh, the suspect was able to flee the area and has not been located. The injured officer was uh, shot multiple times. As I said, he was transported to a local hospital. Uh, he is in serious but stable condition uh, after undergoing surgery. Uh, his family is with him and they have asked for privacy. We will not be giving out his name at this time. Um, the area around Powers and Bannock is an active crime scene. We have conducted our search for the suspect in that area, so we believe it is safe. There's no current immediate threat to the community. Folks are now free to leave their homes in that area, but we will have that area closed for quite a long time as we continue to investigate uh, this crime and this crime scene. Officers from multiple neighboring uh, agencies and jurisdictions have helped us out throughout the evening with this, and we really appreciate all their assistance and help. Um, and I'm able to take questions if anybody has any. I'm sorry, where was the officer shot? He received, uh, luckily he was wearing body armor, so we believe he received a few shots to his torso, which uh, were absorbed by the body armor, and he received uh, wounds to his extremities, uh, his legs and his arm, and uh, possibly one up above his, his vest on his chest. I do not have an exact count of how many times it was it was more than three. Sure. Um, shortly after midnight last night, our officers received a call uh, in dispatch uh, center uh, concerning shots fired from a vehicle in the area. The officers contacted what they believed to be a possible suspect vehicle involved with that shots fired. As they were attempting to contact the occupants of that vehicle, two parties fled from the vehicle. Uh, a foot pursuit ensued. Our officers were close behind. As one of the male subjects entered the apartment building at 183 West Powers Avenue, he turned and fired multiple times at our officer. He struck our officer multiple times. Our officer went down. A uh, second officer was there as well. Um, both officers were able to return fire. Uh, and then as the second officer was attempting to rescue the first officer and pull him out of the area, um, the suspect was able to flee and has not been located at, at this time. Uh, yes. Uh, the officer was transported to a local area hospital where he underwent surgery. He's currently in intensive care unit, but stable. Um, his family has been notified and is with him. Uh, and, but they have asked for privacy, so we won't be releasing his name at this time. The criminal investigation is ongoing. We're following some pretty significant leads. We would ask anyone in the public who has any information or saw or heard anything last night or may know anything about this incident to please call 911 and let that information be known and share that information with us and we'll have investigators contact you. Do you have any suspect information or description? I don't have that at this time. There were two people in the car that fled? Yes, two people fled on foot. We have nobody in custody at this time. I don't want to release that right now. We have the vehicle recovered, uh, so I don't have that description available at this time. But we do have the vehicle. Finally, I'd just again like to thank everyone that helped us out last night from all the other neighboring law enforcement jurisdictions. This is uh, yet another example of the uh, tragedies that our officers face and the, the risk that they take every single day and night out there. They put their lives on the line. Uh, 
and I'm just tremendously proud of all of them. Thank you.